Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks locomotive review. So it has definitely been a long time since I last looked at a locomotive. Um, in fact it was last year when I reviewed the Hornby Class 59 in EWS livery. Obviously there has been a lot happening since last year, uh, especially into 2020. Um, from March onwards, obviously, we had the lockdown due to the COVID-19 virus. Um, people sadly lost their lives due to it. Businesses had to close. And I'm sure 2020 is one of those years um, that I'm sure a lot of people will wish to forget. Um, obviously, since then, restrictions have started being eased slightly. Um, so we are sort of trying to start to get back to normal uh, but I think it may be a while off yet. Um, apologies for the lack of delays in videos as well. Um, due to being a key worker in retail um, I spent quite a lot of time at work um, and due to there's been no model railway shops open either um, I've only just got back round to be able to visit my local train shop Trident Trains at Nantwich uh, to purchase some supplies for the layout um, just so you know, there is a layout video update coming um, and that will revolve around what we've been doing sort of pre-post lockdown um, and where the layout, layout is currently at now compared to where it was at, I think it was July last year or July 2018. Um, I can't quite remember which one it was but that has definitely been a long time as well. So, in regards to today's review, this is the first locomotive that I have purchased at the beginning of 2020. Um, now it's a Batman locomotive and it is a really outstanding model and you're going to see why um, right now. So without further ado let's get on with today's review then. Okay so as we can see today we have a Batman loco. Um, it's still in its tissue paper actually. Uh, I purchased this from a eBay user. Uh, it should have been 230 something pounds. I, I actually got it for 180. Um, so I got a good deal on it. Uh, as you can see it's still got the tissue paper on but as you can probably see peeking through the tissue paper uh, what type of locomotive it is. So let's just take this tissue paper off and we'll have a look at which locomotive we've got. Um, now this is the first time that I've looked at this loco. Um, I briefly looked at it when it arrived um, so I thought I'd definitely make this the first review that I did on the channel again. Okay, so as we can see today, it is a Batman Branch Line Model Railways, Class 37. Uh, but not only that, it is sound fitted. Um, now, you may notice the livery, uh, which we'll get to in just a second. Now, it's obviously classed as, Euro, it was Euro Phoenix. Um, but then this latest model is the Rail Operations Group, as you can see um, on the side, but like I say, you'll see better in just a second. So we'll take a look at the box first, uh, and then we'll get the locomotive out, see what accessories it comes with. Um, now, I may do a video later on in the year of this particular model running on the layout, now that it's beginning to get to where we need it to. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so on the front here, obviously, as you can see, we've got the Batman logo just there. Um, we've got the type of locomotive, obviously. Uh, on the bottom of the box, you can see we've got the batman.co.uk website. Um, the scale is 176, 176th scale, which is double O gauge. So turning it round to the side now. So as you can see, it has the product code 32393ASF. Um, now, I know Batman's locomotives originally um, I think were ended in DS so I think they've changed the product coding slightly on some of these. Um, it's a class 377 uh, running number 37800. Now correct me if I get the name wrong on this one. Um, it's called Cassiopeia. Is that correct? Um, if you do know how to pronounce it properly please leave your comments below. And it is in the Euro Phoenix livery. Um, well, obviously rail operations group, but it's the same as the Euro Phoenix, and it is sound fitted. So turning the box to the back now, 
uh, we can see we've got a bit of brief history about the class 37 uh, so I don't know whether you're able to read all that so I'll just slowly turn the box um, obviously I'm not expecting you to be able to see all that um, especially when you're looking either through a tablet a mobile or a laptop screen um, I could read it sort of all out um, but I need to sort of get on with the review and have a look at the locomotive itself so as you can see on here as well um, we've got information about the authentically detailed model information uh, just on here um, and again on the bottom we've got the Batman website just there okay so let's take the model out of the box and have a look at it okay so apologies for the pause in the video just there as I took the cardboard sleeve off I noticed like a yellow haze appearing on the camcorder screen uh, in regards to the lighting so I've just adjusted the lighting in my room slightly so hopefully fingers crossed uh, that should correct the issue so as you can see um, the locomotive comes in the block of ice or ice cube packaging so we'll just place this down just for a second and take it out and we'll also have a look at what else comes in the box as well okay so as you can see um, we're just taking it out of the box so we'll just have a look at what else comes uh, inside the box as well so I'll just place the cardboard tray to one side for a moment okay so the first thing that it comes with um, are the Batman class 37 instructions um, I was told that back so you can see a bit better so sort of general maintenance body removal body removal um, lights buffer beam parts and snow plows lubrication etc so I'll just hold it back so you can see it just there um, on the back we have the class 37 locomotive diagram um, which gives you all the part numbers if you ever wish to replace parts on your locomotives so I'll just hold that a bit further back so you can see it okay so we'll just have a look at what else comes in the packaging right so the next thing that we've got um, now this is something that is new to me um, Batman are now including sound fitted information instructions as well and this leaflet is the first of its type that I've actually had with a locomotive um, so it tells you information about the decoder and the speaker specifications uh, what to do for best results loco decoder addresses uh, how to run on DC uh, it also gives you information on, on what each function does so for example number one which is F1 like on the Batman Dynamis system is on off um, and this will trigger the sound of a failed startup sequence which may occur when starting the engine for the first time on a cold morning or after a period out of use um, obviously inside here we've got information about each of the functions um, what they do um, from F1 all the way through to I think it may be F8 or F, even F11 rather so as you can see, if I just hold that back, um, it tells you all your functions and features etc. Um, but like I say, this is something new that Batman have started including in locomotive boxes now. Um, and on the back here we've got a function list. Um, and it goes, by the looks of things, all the way up to F14, F15. Uh, obviously F15 being the master volume um, now I probably won't be adjusting the volume but I will be testing out all these other functions um, as usually the locomotives that I've had in the past only go up to like F8 or F9 so this goes a bit further than that so we'll definitely be keeping hold of those 
Right, okay, so the next thing that we have is a product maintenance and care leaflet, uh, which gives you information about the running in period, cleaning and maintenance, lubrication, uh, DCC, what sort of curves that the locomotive runs on, um, how to store it, etc. Uh, so as you can see, just in there, we've got some information on the Batman Collectors Club, uh, product and warranty, and a warranty service request just on the back, as you can see. Okay, so now let's take a look at the locomotive itself. So, what we'll do, we will just take it out of the first plastic sleeve that we've got and put that to one side. Okay, so before we just look at the loco, I'll just show you what detailing parts and nameplates come with it. So we'll just take these off there like so and just place this down just for a second. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we've got the buffer beam detailing. Um, I'm just keeping an eye on the lighting as well because the camcorder seems to be trying to do the same thing again. Um, we've got some snow ploughs, a decoder blanking plate I think that is. So we'll be fitting that once we get round to detailing the locomotive. We also have these etched name plates as well which will be fitted. Uh, so I should see that oops, <laughs> As I say, you can see the name till it moved, uh, which is there, Cassopia, which I think it is, but like I say, if I'm wrong, please leave your comments below. So we'll be putting those ones on once we detail the loco. Okay, so let's have a look at the loco itself then. So if we just take it out of the packaging very, very gently and lift it up, and let's take it out and have a proper look at it. Okay, so here we have the Batman Class 37 in the Euro Phoenix livery. So first off, um, it has got quite a lot of weight to it. It's quite heavy actually. Um, so it's ideal for hauling rolling stock, um, especially preloaded rolling stock as well. Um, I haven't quite decided what I'm going to have this particular locomotive on yet. Um, it may be on a bit of a mixture, it might be on like just shunting duties or I might have it hauling some freight. Uh, but I'll probably do a video, like I say, of that when we get to it. Okay, so um, I'll just see if it's got a driver in. Oh, it has. So that's the front. Okay, so we will start with the front of the locomotive then. Okay, so on the front, obviously, as you can see up by the windscreen, we've got the windscreen wipers uh, just there, and the two horns on top of the roof of the locomotive. Moving down, we've got the lights. Um, now, I'm presuming all of these light up, but like I say, it's been that long since I've done a locomotive review and tested a loco. I'm just getting back into the swing of it now. Um, as you can see we've got the running number, 37800. We've got sprung buffers, which is absolutely excellent. Um, and we've got an NEM coupling pocket just on the front, just there. Moving the loco round to the side now. As you can see, um, we've got the rail operations group, or Euro Phoenix, livery on the side, whichever one you wish to call it. Um, on the side of the door there you can see, well just before the driver's door, you can see it says Euro Phoenix. Uh, we've also got a driver sat in the driver's seat just there. We've got some etched grills on the side here, which is an outstanding feature on Batman's locomotives. And as you can see again, etched grills which run along the length of the loco. We've got the six wheels on either bogey and also underneath the locomotive if I just turn it so you can see it we've got the option to switch the tail lights on and off as well as the option to switch the cab lights on and off as well 
Moving along the low coat, as you can see, again we've got the nameplate, Cassopia, um, the Rail Operations Group wording. Now, obviously the previous version that said Euro Phoenix on, uh, that was sort of where this is now. Um, now, if you do know why they changed the locomotive design from Euro Phoenix to Rail Operations Group, please leave your comments below because that would be interesting to know. Moving along to the other side of the loco now. Again, we've got the etched grills just there, and we've also got metal handrails which are on the other side of the cab doors as well, which is a nice touch. Turning the loco round to the back now, again, as you can see, we've got sprung buffers, which is an excellent feature. Again, we've got the windscreen wipers on the windscreen, as you can see, and the two horns on top of the cab roof just there. We've also got an NEM coupling pocket. So turning the low coat round to the other side now. As you can see, um, it's obviously the same again on this side. And we've got the running number 37800 on the bottom just there. Again, we've got the Euro Phoenix, well, Euro Phoenix Rail Operations Group livery printed very neatly on the side of the locomotive, as you can see. Um, now, I do know a few YouTube users who have actually got this particular loco. Uh, the first one is uh, Barnabas Junction, uh, Jason I think it is, um, so a shout out to him. Um, I actually watch his videos quite a lot actually, so um, that's where I saw this locomotive running on his layout, as well as a few others, and that's what persuaded me to actually purchase it. So. Taking a look at the roof of the locomotive now, as you can see uh, we've got the etched grill uh, above the fan there. I'm not too sure if that fan spins um, until we test it, but it would be very nice if it did. Um, but as you can see we've got a smooth finish on the roof just here. So overall this is an absolutely outstanding model. Um, and I definitely cannot wait to get it tested on the layout now that it's getting near uh, full operational status. Um, but I would definitely recommend this locomotive to anybody um, obviously who's seen it in real life or is into DCC sound fitted models. Um, but I'm actually lost words as to how good it is. Um, so yeah, definitely highly recommended, um, especially if it's the sound fitted version as well. I mean, if not, you can fit your own sound to it, I suppose. Um, but like I say, I will be doing a running video soon of it, so you will see it in action. So that is it. Um, thank you very much for watching. So that is the Batman Class 37 with DCC sound in the Rail Operations Group livery.